Church, welcome to Audacious Devotions. I'm Jordan from North Location. I'm really excited to be sharing an inspirational story with you today from the book of Ruth 1. So, there's four things that I've learned from the scripture. Uh, the past is not our final destination when we trust in God. Doing the right thing takes sacrifice. Sharing openly about our relationships and brings intimacy to relationships. And God uses unlikely people from his purpose. I've not really done much uh, growing up. Uh, failed my education. And I wasn't in a career. Uh, I was spending money. I wasn't saving so I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't spend anything. I've always been going into the past. And I can look back on this and know that I can trust in God. Because my final destination is always going to be with God, always. Doing the right thing takes sacrifice. So, I sacrificed my finances to go on a mission to Rwanda. It was scary because I struggled a lot with my anxiety and my depression and stuff like that, my Tourette's. And going there took sacrifice. I'll give you a story. So, we was in a, a widow's house and she was poor and she didn't live a nice life and so what we did for her is we gave her a food parcel and uh, we prayed for her and the, the prayer that we prayed for was to say that God loves her, that his, her, his son would actually come back to God come back to faith and that's what he did and he got on his knees just gave his life to Christ when you look back on this uh, on the book of Ruth she makes us hope for a king who can bring fullness out of emptiness now when we talk about evangelizing that is what he does he makes us have hope like Ruth did Ruth and Naomi. Uh, Ruth is Naomi's daughter-in-law and she stuck by her. She showed her loyalty. That's what we have to do with God, our loyalty to him. It's like when you're thirsty, you want to drink and you want to drink, but you still, you just can't get that feeling where you're full. No matter how much you drink, but as soon as you give your life to him, then that is where you get that fullness and the fullness comes from God and God using unlikely people for his purpose is, is one of the the main things that I got from this Ruth um, and Naomi so they had a, a lot going against them they are now standing for the women of our generation today now that's something powerful women are reading the scripture today and thinking wow, I want to be like that person. So when we are being an influence and when we are evangelizing, we have to remain that character throughout our life because there's going to be people that we might have evangelized to and see us in 10 years' time. They might see a, see a different side to us and, and have a different concept of the way we spoke with them when we spoke about God and how we gave our loyalty to them. If you have no hope, uh, if you've made like mistakes and you're just constantly living in the past, then Ruth 1 is the book for you. You have to read it. I have that scripture in my bedroom all the time. I get up in the morning, I read it. Wherever I go, God's gonna be there. And wherever I stay, God will stay because my people, like my family, my friends, they're his people. And to know that wherever I am, he's always going to be there. Thank you so much for listening to me today. Um, I'm praying for you and I hope you enjoy the, the rest of your day. And I'll see you in church.